The St. Vincent men travel to Fort Detrick in Frederick, Maryland for a matchup against the Blazers of Hood College. SVC took its first lead of the night three minutes into play on a drive by point guard Mo Hawkins that made it 4-2. to two. Later, a steal by B.J. McGill led to a conventional three-point play that extended the lead to 5-11-6. to six. Five points by senior Mike Watkins within a minute helped preserve the lead. Then Armani Fontaine hit a baseline jumper that put the visitors ahead by 8, 20 to 12, with 9.25 left in the first half. The Blazers responded, cutting the gap to just 2, 22 to 20, three minutes later, and later tied the game at 26, with just three minutes remaining in the first half. However, the Bearcats hit on all cylinders to close the half. Watkins put the team back in front. Then Stephon Berry hit a fadeaway jumper from the baseline that increased the lead to four. Hawkins then followed with a three-pointer, and the Bearcats went into the half with a seven-point advantage. SVC got on the board quickly in the second half, with Fontaine increasing the lead to nine in the opening seconds. Then McGill made an 11-point game less than one minute into play. After Hood cut into the margin, McGill scored on a runner that brought the lead back to double digits, 44-34. And later, Watkins added a three-pointer that made the score 47-36, equaling the Bearcats' largest lead of the game. After that, however, the tide turned as SVC got into foul trouble. On the night, Hood would eventually shoot 55 free throws, converting on 36. The Blazers cut the gap to just one at the 11:40 mark on a transition score, then took the lead at the free throw line when Watkins fouled out at the 11:23 mark. He would soon be joined with five fouls by two other teammates as Hood went on a 21-2 run. A basket by Henry Utsku at the 8-10 mark brought the Hood lead down to 6, 58-52. Later, a three by Garrison Gross made it a five-point game, 60-55. B.J. McGill, who scored a career-high 33 points, hit a three with 545 remaining that cut the gap to just one, and McGill later hit three more three-pointers to keep the game close, but the Bearcats were unable to overcome their foul trouble.